What's up, everyone? It's Spar War Five Gun here today, bringing you guys another Modern Warfare Three commentary. And in today's video, I want to discuss something that I just recently watched, and I want to get a little discussion going on here. Recently, Mr. Obviously Jesus, a well-known commentator on YouTube, released a video called "An Open Letter to uh, Advanced UAV." And for those of you who don't know, Advanced UAV is a 13-year-old machinima director who, I'm not exactly sure his total subscriber count, but he's his channel's been growing pretty fast, and uh, obviously Jesus made a video directed at him talking about, you know, you should probably give up on this YouTube thing for a while, you know, reconsider what you want to do, maybe come back when you have your own personality and have your own material. And then once that happens, you know, come on back and show us your stuff. And a lot of people give uh, Advanced Joy V a lot of shit because he's so young and people just constantly write him hate messages. And, like, I'll, I'll read through the comment sections of his videos. And it's just a lot of people just saying, you suck and leave us alone and all this stuff. And it's just, I want to talk a little bit about this idea. And it's just... How original can we be as YouTube commentators? A lot of people say that uh, it's not the gameplay that makes us unique, it's our personalities. And it's just... I don't really necessarily agree with that. Not because I'm this, you know, really big advocator of gameplays, as I pretty much portrayed myself to be, but... Um, because, you know, there can be, like, what I'm trying to say here, you can show who you are through your gameplay. You know, um, the Ra Sandy Ravage is known for his rushing tactics and just running around raping face. And, you know, uh, Wings of Redemption is known for having a more defensive, I don't want to say sedentary, but, you know, just this really defensive style of play. And it's not only just because of our, you know, personalities as a commentator and what we say. It's Part of it is also how exactly we play the games that we play. And it's just a lot of people sort of overlook that. And it's not like... What I'm trying to say here. The videos aren't unique just because of how we talk and things like that. It's also because of the topics at hand. A lot of times... A lot of well-known YouTube commentators will basically copy off each other, or not even, like, try to copy off each other. They'll just unintentionally have the same exact topics as other people. And it's like, seriously? I mean, like, you're giving lesser-known people and people like Advanced UAV shit because, you know, they're making up... Not really making up, but they're, you know, talking about things that have been talked about by a lot of people, you know? I mean, like... I'm trying to give some examples. I mean, X Jaws talks about Black Ops 2 a lot. What do that? What am I trying to say? Here? Woody's Gamertag talks about Black Ops 2. There are a lot of well-known commentators that talk about the same things, and yet people don't give them crap for talking about the same things. So when is it that you know these lesser-known channels get so much hate messages and crap because they're talking about? Things that are basically really popular on the internet, you know, they see that these well-known commentators are all talking about it, so they're probably thinking, now I'm not saying I can read their minds or anything, but I mean, this is what I'm thinking about. They're thinking, you know, these people are talking about it, I can probably get some good views if I make a video like it, and give my two cents about it and my opinions, and that's what... I believe a lot of people think about, you know, these really, really lesser-known channels, like myself. You know, I mean, if you're new, I mean, watching this video and you're new to the channel, first off, welcome. Second of all, I used to have a bigger channel that had around 670 subscribers, so, I mean, I'm somewhat, uh, I don't want to say experienced, but, you know, have had a larger number of subscribers than currently. But I completely lost where I was trying to go there. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll try to rebound from this. Uh, basically, it's like... Sure, the whole general topic may be the same, but it, the thing that's really original with people's videos are the uh, 
opinions about it. I mean, the facts are, yes, I mean, it's, you know, the same things are said, you know, in the same order. And it's just the same content. But the thing that really makes them special is that people give different opinions. And, you know, I mean, Woody's Gamertag could probably give a different opinion than X-Jaws. And X-Jaws can give a different opinion than Wings of Redemption, you know. And that's what makes these videos special. And plus, I'll have my own opinion from NinjaFish95. Or he'll have different opinions from the Quill Zone, And so on and so forth, you know. I mean, it's just a repeating cycle. And that's what really makes videos sort of, you know, unique. It's just what people say. I mean, I don't necessarily think it's all about the personality that gets people going to um, come and subscribe to these people. Now, that probably is a strong factor in it, but what exactly people say, I think, is a stronger sort of hook that people like to, you know... Oh, this is going to be probably really sexual, but um, it's a hook that a lot of people want to grab on. And, you know, that's what makes people want to subscribe to other people on YouTube. And I don't think a lot of people think of it that way. So what do you guys think about this? Um, and just as a disclaimer here before I wrap this thing up, in no way, shape, or form am I trying to defend Advanced UAV. Um, I think he has the potential to become a great uh, YouTube voice. But as of right now, he's his just voice is really annoying in my opinion. I'm not trying to give the kid hate. I mean, I see some potential for a great YouTube commentator, but as of right now, his voice is just really annoying. I mean, it's just the way that he puts inflection into his voice. It's just, ugh, it's it's irritating. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not trying to give him hate. I'm just stating my opinions. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, leave your opinions and thoughts below. Take care, everyone. Peace out, and have a great day. Kill me.